This is episode 19 of Survival Medicine, and we're going to talk about using honey on wounds. So, honey's an amazing thing. Basically, this is pollen that's uh, taken in by the bee and then basically regurgitated. So, uh, honey is bee vomit. Um, but this is, like I said, an amazing substance. Uh, there's been honey that's been f found in tombs of pharaohs and uh, that have it's thousands of years old that uh, remained intact. So obviously there's something in this uh, substance that uh, does well. Now there's a variety of different studies looking at honey uh, on wounds, so basically burns and scrapes and cuts, uh, that shows that honey does just as well as about anything else for um, preventing infection. Now I'm going to talk about one paper and specifically um, and this is entitled, The Evidence Supporting Honey as a Wound Dressing. This is from a journal called Lower Extremity Wounds from 2006. And the reason I'm going to use this one is because uh, the uh, author took 17 of the best studies and basically broke them down and said, how does uh, honey work compared to uh, a variety of other things? So this was 17 randomized controlled trials, and that's a big deal. Randomized and controlled means uh, that uh, the people evaluating the results don't know which substance was used, so they can't have a bias, you know, um, leaning you one way or the other. So if you're going to look at uh, a treatment of um, effect. This is uh, one of the better ways to do it. Uh, most of these were burns, but there was also some surgical wounds also. And the bottom line is honey did just as well as or better than some of the standard treatments. So, you know, how does this work? So, well, honey's got some native uh, antibacterial properties. Um, it can help debride wounds, meaning when you smear uh, honey onto a wound, as you clean it off, it will take off some of the nasty goo and goop and soup that uh, develops on the wound and help keep a clean wound base. Um, there's also some basic anti-inflammatory uh, properties of honey. And, and I'm not sure how this works, uh, but it stimulates growth of the granulation epithelial tissue. Now, granulation, uh, if you've ever had a really deep uh, abrasion uh, or lost a lot of skin, as it, as it grows back, it, there's all these little red bumps, and that's considered granulation tissue as it heals from the bottom up. Uh, and that's very important for wound closure and wound healing is that granulation tissue. So stimulating that granulation tissue and epithelial tissue is just the, the skin covering. Um, so honey can uh, work to stimulate the growth of both of those. So the bottom line is uh, honey works just as well as uh, neosporin or sylvidine or a variety of these other things. Um, so for, you know, burns, abrasions, cuts, uh, I think it's completely acceptable to use honey. Now, if it's a very large burn, we're talking about a lot of other complicated issues that come with it in terms of fluid loss and, and a massive exposure for potential infection. So a large burn is a different issue altogether and um, really needs some aggressive uh, treatments like skin grafting and other things. Uh, but for most of the burns that we're going to contact, have contact with at home uh, and just daily lives, I think honey is a completely acceptable option. Um, and again, if you don't have neosporin and you've got a cut or scrape that you want to uh, prevent infection, uh, honey would work fine too. Now one of the limitations though is keeping honey in contact with the wound. Since it's viscous and, and liquid, uh, it may ooze or seep away, so you have to put it on a type of covering that will keep the honey in contact with the wound to have the effect. But a uh, great natural resource. Uh, again, if you're out and around and you don't have access to uh, some of the standard medicines that you have at home, uh, consider honey for treatment of uh, minor wounds. Thanks again for watching. Uh, sorry there's been a little bit uh, in the lapse of videos, but uh, it is hunting season, and so uh, we're trying to spend as much time outside as we can. Thanks.